Hey guys, it's I Tech of the Week, and I got a post in Redmond Pi uh, that shows all, the entire list of iOS 5 compatible tweaks and apps that are available uh, through Cydia. So the main topic I'm going to cover pretty much in this video is going to be uh, if you want to jailbreak iOS 5. Now that the iOS 5 final has been released on October 12th, uh, that gives you a chance for most of you to either choose your upgrade or not. So I figure, so if you have chosen to upgrade to iOS 5, uh, your next question is going to be if you should jailbreak it or not. Uh, as of now, there's only a tether jailbreak out, uh, which means every time you turn off your device to get it to turn back on, you have to plug it into your computer and rerun uh, Red Snow, which is a jailbreak program, if any of you guys didn't know that. And most likely, there won't be an untethered jailbreak until uh, maybe, maybe like a few weeks. I'm just guessing it's not a positive fact or anything. That's my uh, estimate on when it's going to be released. I'm guessing a few weeks. Uh, so that's that's. I just want to cover tethered or untethered because that's one thing that may... Uh, completely make someone not want to jailbreak. A lot of people don't want to, uh, a tethered jailbreak just because uh, you can't turn it off. So that's one problem there. Uh, but honestly, I'd never have to turn off my iDevice. So I just pretty much always have it running. So that's not a problem with me. Uh, but anyway, so here's the entire list. So I'm going to go through some of these tweaks and tell you guys uh, if, uh, and just kind of go through them and see if you guys uh, like them. And maybe um, the only reason you're not upgrading to iOS 5 is because uh, you think some of the tweaks aren't available on, on uh, iOS 5. And they're only available for maybe like 4.3.3 or something like that. Uh, so I just want to go through this list here. And you can uh, change the, the compatibility right here to just to filter it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. You guys know uh, um, all of them. Some of them do partially work. Like one of the things in here is partially. Uh, so some of them partially work. So you guys can go to this post. I'll put it in the description. Check it out. Uh, and in a little bit here, I'll switch over to my device and show you some of them that I have installed. Uh, anyway, uh, some of the main ones I'm going to go through is the Android lock. A lot of people like the Android lock. Uh, that's one thing that you may want. Uh, activator, that makes SB settings uh, able to work, and so you can see it does say yes. Uh, so Activator does work, which makes SB settings available to work. If we scroll down here, uh, you'll see SB settings right here. And they also got now SB settings built in a notification center. I'll go through that once we uh, go to the device. Uh, but now we're at the bottom of this list here. So Winterboard apparently works. It says just updated, not in Cydia repo. Uh, and this is a DB, DEB file can be downloaded here. I'm not familiar with any of this stuff. Sorry guys, I don't know how to do that. Uh, but uh, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a themer, so I don't, I'm not gonna really look into that. Uh, anyways, so let's go. I'm just gonna throw, scroll through some more of these. Uh, voice activator that just gives you some more options to voice control. Uh, let's see here. If you're on a running an iPhone, tether me. You might want that. Uh, I'm just gonna keep scrolling through these. If you if you guys see any of the ones you want, slide away is a cool tweak. I'm not, I don't have that one installed yet, but that one's pretty cool. It's a cool lock screen thing. Uh, but I just want to scroll through some of these. And if you guys see anything you like, then you may uh, want to go ahead and jailbreak your iDevice. I'm just hoping this video will kind of uh, help you make your decision if you should jailbreak or not. Uh, password Pilot, I got that installed. That's pretty cool. I, you can put in your password for iTunes, and then anytime you want to buy something or an app or anything like that or update it, it automatically enters it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to keep scrolling through these. Download YouTube videos. That's what MXTube does. A multi icon mover. You can move multiple icons at a time. I'm just going to keep going through here. So, uh, Kill Background just kills all the background apps. They actually have something. Uh, they have a they have a widget for notification center that allows you to kill the backgrounds. So there's a few stuff that can do that. Uh, I swipe. You, you guys, that's uh, an Android thing, I believe. Uh, you can just. I'm not gonna explain. It, never mind. If you guys, if you guys like it or not, you can. I'm not gonna do a whole review on this. I don't want this video to be too long. Uh, install us four for you pirateers. I file that allows you. It's pretty much the main thing I use I file for is theming. So that's not really necessary for me, but. It is available. Gridlock that allows you to put icons anywhere you want on the screen. Five icon dock, I like that one. Fake carrier, I got that one that just changes your carrier name to whatever you want. Double add, you can press the app button twice on the keyboard, it enters your email. Um, so keep going through some more of these. Color keyboard changes to color your keyboard. Um, by default, changes your fonts. Barrel 2, Barrel 1, both of those, that, that's different, like when you're paging through your springboard, uh, just different effects to sp uh, when you're paging through them, and that's pretty much it, it looks like, um, so, yep, that was all of them that are compatible for sure, you can go ahead and go to this post and check it out for yourself, or go to partially, uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the camera, 
and uh, show you some of the tweaks that I have installed. All right, so here we are on the camera now, and you can see my career has changed to iTech over the week, and I am on iOS 5. You guys don't believe me. There's reminders right there, and uh, newsstand is somewhere in here. I don't know. Whatever. There, oh, there's newsstand. So I am jailbroken on iOS 5. You can see City right there, and I'm going to actually open that up. So I'm going to go to Manage, Packages. And there's activator right there. Let's see if it's a focus. Activator, Android lock. I'll go ahead and show you that. So there's Android lock. You guys can see that. Oh, I got a whole bunch of emails. So that just kind of messed up there. But there you go. You can't see it unlocks. Um, back in the city. There is barrel right there. So I'm gonna show you that one. You can see that I'm flipping through my pages here. It's not normal flipping, obviously. So back in the city. Oh, and if we slide down the notification center, you can see uh, right here, SP settings, it's installed there. And if we flip over there, you got more of the settings. You can also hit more, and you have all of the different settings in here that you can edit. Uh, and also, this is another widget that's a jailbroken widget. Uh, it is called, I believe it's Omnistat, I, I think. And in, in here, you can just hit this power button right here, and you can kill the background apps. And you can, you got a whole bunch of more options. It gives you a whole bunch of information. And uh, you can even free up your RAM on your device. You can see right there, you can free it up. So, very cool tweak. You can even copy your UDID number. It's a very cool tweak. I love it a lot. Well, I want to show you guys something really cool uh, that I actually figured out. Activator, you have the option in Activator. The Activator, what it does, you can do a whole bunch of different like themes like on a device, like swiping and stuff like that. And you can choose um, an option for, for it to do. Like, if I shake my device, I'll show you here in a second once this reloads. Uh, a little bit longer. Actually, I'll try it right now. Okay, never mind. If I shake my device, you can see if I do this, uh, a new tweet box appears up, and I can tweet from this and just hit send. So that's something uh, because Twitter is now integrated into iOS 5, you can do stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. I got Diet Bar. That's something uh, I actually didn't cover this on the post, but it makes all of the uh, like the bars appear smaller. I'll show you that in a second here. Go to uh, settings. You can see how small my bar is up there, so that's pretty cool. Take clock up, make sure uh, scrolling through these really fast. If I scroll through this, actually it doesn't work in City, but it just makes everything fast. And uh, you know that's actually all I'm gonna go through. This video is getting too long. I don't want this to be too big of a video. I just wanted to cover some of the stuff. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope this uh, video kind of helped you make up your mind if you want a jailbreak on iOS 5 or not. If you don't want to tether jailbreak because for some reason you need to turn off your device or you just don't want to tether jailbreak. Uh, this is probably not for you because it is a tether jailbreak, so I would not do that. But I'll put an annotation if I remember, uh, link you guys to my other video of the actual jailbreak itself for a tutorial. Uh, but there is a lot of tweaks that actually work now, and I'm happy with it. Barrel works, that's a main tweak that a lot of people like. SB settings works, uh, so I'm happy with that. Uh, it's, that's why I jailbroke, and I don't need to turn off my device. So I hope this video helps you guys out, make up your mind if you want to jailbreak iOS 5 or not. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and like it down below. And you can subscribe up top to be notified when I release my new videos. You can follow me on Twitter to get tech updates. Uh, it's the same. My Twitter username is the same as my YouTube username. I take every week. So that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.